at about four hours notice. Four hours notice. Maybe. I'm going to repeat. The one, I won't keep you, but the one thing I forgot to ask everybody, what means quite a lot to me, a really good, when, I told a really good friend of mine, one of the first people I told about the idea of Night in the Museum Live, and he loved the idea, so he had a special sort of comment book made up for me. We left it on the table for the first one, and I was, about three days after the event, I sat at home reading, and I was quite overwhelmed by the really, there were no Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, where it was really genuine nice comments. It meant a lot to me. There's a table in the corner over there near the door. I'd really love if everyone took two minutes just to put a comment in what they thought of the experience or the evening. I mean, I'd really appreciate that. But don't feel like you have to. <laughs> Steve Pilgrim, it's a total honour for Steve to agree to play this event for a start. Um, I had a bit of a stare yesterday because Steve was sort of sore throat, temperature. I thought, no, I don't believe this week. But in true rock and roll style, he's agreed to come with his uh, fantastic band and play this event. Not only is he multi talented, not only is he Paul Waller's number one sticks man, he's one of the nicest guys I know and probably have ever met. So please put your hands together for Steve Pilgrim and his full band. <laughs> 